Several popular TV shows will be confronting COVID-19 on the screen this season. Obviously not an easy topic to tackle. And with that, let's bring in Eli Glasner as we explore how some show creators are planning to essentially cover and tackle COVID-19. So some difficult choices here for producers, Eli. Yeah, well, Phil, it's, it's a real interesting challenge because on the one hand, I think so many of us, we want to escape. We want to turn on TV and we want kind of a refuge from what we are experiencing, the consequences of the pandemic. But at the same time, now when you watch shows, especially shows set in the here and now, if they're not masks, if you've got crowd scenes, it feels jarring. It feels out of place. And frankly, as I've been working on this story, I've been surprised by the number of shows from comedy to drama that are taking COVID-19 head on. And in many ways, it will be a, a reoccur reoccurring role in uh, these seasons. And so you look at South Park, you look at the new season of The Morning Show on Apple TV, you look at This Is Us. Uh, they have a new episode coming out later this month. The writers have been working away. Uh, the Good Doctor, Grey's Anatomy, and more. So quite a few shows really looking to uh, try and reflect uh, a little bit to help us process what's happening around us. Well, it's interesting that you mentioned some uh, medical-based shows there, uh, Grey's Anatomy, The Good Doctor. How are they going to uh, handle COVID-19? Because that must be a special challenge for those programs in particular. Yeah, very much so. And I think those are the shows that where they said, look, this has changed the landscape. This has changed everything that the healthcare workers are doing. And it would be a disservice to ignore it. You look at Grey's Anatomy. They had to wrap up their 16th season e early because of the pandemic and a lockdown. Now, that's an Instagram from their star, Ellen Pompeo, who says they're back and filming. And you see them there uh, masked and dedicating uh, their new season to the seventh thousand healthcare workers who have died and they have doctors who are writers of that show and the doctors came back and basically told the writers room this is the story of a lifetime we cannot ignore it. And that's very similar to what I heard when I talked to the creator and executive producer of The Good Doctor. Now, this is a show shot in Vancouver, um, and it's on uh, CTV and ABC, uh, and they have made a choice. Now, we're seeing footage from the previous season, but they have now made a choice to begin their new season with a special two-part episode about how the, uh, the hospital is adapting to the pandemic and especially their character. There he is, Sean. And uh, I, I talked to Shore, David Shore, the creator of the show, uh, about this. And, you know, it was a difficult decision, but ultimately he felt that it gives the show uh, an important opportunity. Let's take a look. Obviously, television's primary duty is to entertain. But if you're only entertaining, then it's a massive waste of an opportunity. You, you have a uh, huge audience you have a huge opportunity to not just entertain, but to hopefully inform, hopefully open some eyes and, and make people think about things a little differently. Not every episode is going to achieve that, but that is what we are going for every time. And we are very aware of our responsibility. And so, you know, there's an educational aspect to that. He talked about really trying to get it right. Their show is set in San Jose. They've been talking to doctors there, trying to get a sense of how things really are going so they can reflect that in what they are currently filming. Okay, but how do you reflect a pandemic when, you know, a season is taped and it's in the can, and here you have events changing each and every day when it comes to COVID-19? Yeah, that is very much a challenge. You know, I've spoken to critics who say, frankly, it's too soon. Uh, the situation is still cha still changing. You know, the ways that we solve this uh, crisis, the ways that we address it, even the medicines we use, that could change. You ri run the risk of appearing dated. And there's the question of just like we need that space to process. We need that space to have COVID-19 hopefully recede in the distance so that we can reflect and then talk about uh, what's happening. But it's interesting. I talked to the creator of Digstown on CBC. They're looking at filming their new season next year. And his solution for avoiding that problem, Floyd Kane, is very much looking at the world post-COVID and the changes that we'll be living through. Let's take a look at what he had to say. On a human level, I think, I want to also deal with, talk about the mental health aspects of this, right? Like, I feel like, you know, for someone like, you know, Marcy, the lead character in my show, 
um, we kind of started her from a place where she was dealing with grief and, you know, and, and having mental health issues coming out of having lost a family member. And I feel like there's something that's interesting about the pandemic where I'd really like to explore, you know, the toll and the consequences of, you know, this social isolation on people. And, you know, Kane was telling me, you know, there was a, a funeral for a, a family friend that he couldn't attend and that that's really when it kind of came home and he wanted to start addressing issues such as that and addiction and isolation and tenant rights and long term um, care and homes and all sorts of interesting issues at the community level that you are going to see popping up in the new season of Digstown. So it's a real fascinating choice now for both the show creators and the audiences to see see whether they'll uh, respond and this is what they want when they uh, turn on the TV. Okay, Eli, thank you. Our entertainment reporter, Eli Glasner.